Super got a fair stand here. Front and rear butterfly mower, four rotor rake, nine meter merger. Got all the gear here, look. It's a good bit of gear, and all. So on the little Manitou stand now, we've got a 961160, which is, I'm guessing, one of their big machines because it's a, it's a fair chunk. Yeah, it's, it's a lot bigger than our 542 70 uh, an Agri Pro. Running on uh, bib loads, which I, if you remember, I, I was um, asking a question about them a few videos ago, and the answer is. If you buy them, don't go off-road, so we'll stick to our tyres. But uh, it's got self level The big old machine. Alright, so on the Merlot stand now. And obviously we've seen these on the channel before. Um, nice little loaders. I did like that uh, Merlot we had. Nice cabs. It's like a velour seat, that is. But uh, no, good, powerful, compact. Uh, decent hydraulics on them. Uh, yeah, this is very similar to one we had. Is it? We had one with a cab suspension, um, which again was blooming good, very good. But good machines these are, very good machines. All right, so this is the triple boom, uh, well, the straw stacking uh, loader, I would call it, you know. Uh, triple boom, so what is it, nine and a half meters, 10 meters, I should think. Now what um, Merlot have done now, um, evolved over the ones that, uh, that one that I had on demo, is now you can adjust absolutely all the hydraulic parameters on it and you can set height limits for the boom so if you're in a low shed you can set it so that it won't you won't put it through <laughs> you won't put it through the roof or if you want to um, boom up and down real fast but you want very fine grade control on the on the um, on the carriage so you can slow your left and right right down you can do that all on the new computer um, and they've got a new, also got a new joystick as well, so uh, it feels, you know, it feels, fits in the hand very nice. Um, yeah, you know I'm a bit of a fan of Merlot machines. Um, and this is, well, a good evolution of the one I tried what, three years ago now. Right, so I've just been shown Merlot's new Generation Zero electric uh, telehandler. It's a 25.5 dash 90. It's four wheel drive. It's two and a half tonne lift and it is um, a five meter machine and it runs on well in here you'll see a big pack of lead acid batteries it's built from the ground up as an electric machine and as you can see oh, if i get down low enough in my back will let me it's um, rear wheel steer only like a you know like a warehouse sort of tele truck sort of thing you know forklift mastered forklift um, and the whole rear axle you know, sweep under there, giving it um, excellent turning circle. So the front front wheels are fixed, so it's rear wheel steer, but it's a lovely little machine. And I think we may, you know, like I said at the start of this year, we're going to have a look at a few alternative fuel machines. And um, seems as Merlot, you know, designed this from the ground up. It's uh, got a nine hour run time. It's a removable battery as well, so if you want to buy another pack, you can do and swap the packs out within five minutes but it's a nine hour run time and a six hour uh recharge time and that is i've been told it's an actual true nine hour run time not sort of you know nine hours if you don't use it all the time but uh, yeah no it's a very smart compact machine i think we need to have a look at it So nice and easy to get into. It's a nice little cab, but it's a nice little compact loader. Got their new joystick on it again. But yeah, everything you need. Visibility's all right with the bonnet up. Yeah, I think it'd be quite interesting to have a look at this, see what it's capable of. So here we've got Mitsubishi tractors. Probably the biggest tractor stand at the show. And, um, yeah, we've got four sort of small horticultural type tractors on it. And uh, yeah, that's about it. There's literally no one else here. Literally. And to be fair, I've not got a clue what Mitsubishi tractors are like. Obviously, 
Japanese, so it should be well put together. Um, yeah, what else can I say? One here with a little load, loader on it. Should be good if you want a nice little state tractor or something like that. So uh, AgriFact now, they bought a couple of their ginormous sprayers. What's the size of that thing? I mean, that is like comedically large. It's huge. What's it, 8,000 litres, I should think? Condor Endurance. But they are just a fair machine. A fairly humongous machine. Machine triple, triple booms, probably 36 meters, I think. Right, so this is worth roughly half a million, 550 million. <sighs> James. Hello. 60k this thing does, doesn't it? Yep. 60K. How does it do 60k? It's a sprayer. Gotta get on. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's got air brakes, it's got commercial braking on each wheel, isn't it, basically? Commercial braking, um, part brake on every wheel. Yeah. yeah. Big Cummins, 400, 400 horsepower. Is it? Yeah. Proper engine, so then. Got, proper yeah. engine. No black smoke Cummins, though. It's oh, new top. It's not you proper. you got blue and everything. Yeah, you can't get away from it these days, can you? Hey, cab. What's, this is this? is a Jag cab. Yeah. But we've got our own armrest in it now. It's nicely laid out, actually, isn't it? Is that wood? Yeah. That is. <laughs> designed by the woman at the factory. Was it? Yeah. And she wanted it like her kitchen worked out, <laughs> and that is true. Well, that's pretty cool to be fair. It works well, doesn't it? It's all there. And then like... you've got, so you hover over this, yeah. and bring it up on here. Oh, right. And then you can use these for different options yeah. and everything. That's a fing big sweep, but I suppose that's doing GPS, doing everything, isn't it? It's, yeah, no, you right control. GPS up here. Oh, is it? It has got some respects of internal GPS. Yeah. Which you can use if your big GPS goes wrong or yeah. you haven't got it. But it's not as accurate. So you can run them on green star, you can run them on Trimble. You let you you tell us what GPS and we'll prep it. Blow it in lot, yeah, yeah. You've got an induction hopper built into the top. Very nice. So you can lift your chemical up here, look. You can have your chemical on a pallet. Oh, your gate up. Straight in there, look. Put your pallet of chemical where we are. Lob it in. Away you go, 8,000 litre tank. Yep. This has got, what, 36 metres on it? 36 metres. But you've got to... So you've got you get to 54 meters. 54 meters on this. That's pretty impressive. And we've got to do a shout out to Jack, haven't we? Yeah. Because Jack will be watching this, your old boy. He will. And uh, he started his own YouTube channel. Jack Needham. Is it Jack Needham? Yeah. yeah so check that out. Check that out. He's done some videos. He's not quite professional yet, but he'll get there. He'll get in there. He'll be a millionaire before you know it. <laughs> oh, so on the, well, I was going to say the Massey stand, but it's actually Chalmers of. Uh, doing this down there it appears um, and just doing obviously Matty Ferg it was 6S there it's very nice uh, we've got an 8S here what's this uh, that's, the, oh, that's the new 305 now that's a smart bit of kit isn't it harks back to the old like 2680s and 2640s with the old cab on I like it I think it looks nice Certainly worth um, having a look at, I reckon. It's tidy. So, a nicely laid out back end. Got your electrics up there, your air pipes, um, got ice the bus. And you've got your nicely labelled um, spool valves on the back there. Yeah, it's nicely laid out. So you got the windscreen wiper off a coat on there, which is good. I like that. Nothing annoys me more is a, than a big windscreen and a tiny little windscreen wiper. So let's have a look in here. Nice seat, nicely appointed. Nice airy cab. I mean, this is a. Oh, this is a. This is an upgrade. Very nice. And the steering wheel down. You've got your steering wheel shuttle there. The indicators, yeah, blooming now, nice, very nice. Wipers on there. Now look at this joystick. What can't you do with that? 
So, uh, what's that? Speed range is possibly. Rear linkage up down, forward and reverser, auto steer, assignable buttons I presume, cruise controls. Is that more that's more spool valves? You got buttons on the back. And obviously it's uh, this is probably a Dyna VT, so variable transmission, so push it forward to go faster, back to slow down. Another spool valve on a joystick there. Two stand electro hydraulic spools, a nice little um, information screen there. Oh, and you've got, uh, rather than a dash, we've got a, uh, an information screen on the dash pillow there. Sunroof. What a place to sit. Nice view out the back. Yeah, nice big opening rear window. Yeah, Massey have pulled the steps out here. Nice rail for your mountain of um, control boxes and that. Nice little foldable seat. You should think we've got a... Is that a cool box there? Could be well be a cool box. Yeah, Massey have pulled the stops out of this. This is um, one of the stars of the show, I would say. 8S305, the biggest in the 8S range. What a tractor. We'd like to ever see what these are capable of. Look how look at that waistline on that bonnet. So it gives you excellent visibility down towards the, you know, your front of your uh, front linkage in that lot. You can see the suspension there on the front axle. Yeah, it's a lovely sort of wasp type waistline on that uh, bonnet, so you've got good visibility. What a machine. Was it a 110 H? I mean, you are a loading shovel expert, in my opinion, because you run them all the time. Yeah. What are Volvo's like? Spot on. Spot on? Yeah, can't beat them by a job. This one, I don't believe, has got steering wheel, so you've got joystick steering. It's got both. That's, oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, is it? Oh, oh, yeah, it's got steering wheel. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the way forward, though, isn't it? Joystick steering. Or do you not, or do you prefer a wheel? I prefer a wheel, but... The options there, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, this is ag spec, so I mean, you're, I mean, what your green waste spec, I suppose you are, yeah, or bulk handling. Spec. Yeah. Waste spec. But uh, it's a smart machine, isn't it? What's the horsepower one of these? Do you know? Uh, Better guess. Yeah, 110 horse. <laughs> It would be in kilowatts, wouldn't it? Yeah, 191, so what's that? That's more than, what's that, 230 or something? Something like that, so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Just over 20 and a half ton. Michelin, Mega X bibs, 800s on it. There's a fair fork, mate, isn't it, look? Okay, so you rate the Volvo's in? Oh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I've bought a couple of machines. This one is a slurry tanker. Bloody bigger than all lot. Self-loading arm. Injector on the back. Just a fair lump. Just a fair lump. Plowger, I bought another slurry tanker. Obviously Troik variant this is. Again, self-loading arm, big old lump of machine. I mean, it's cool just to see these, you know, several barrel slurry tankers and all this big kit. And some of it these days is just ginormous. We've got a um, uh, forage wagon, shoot maker. These are quite interesting, these are the ones with the trailing pickup on them, rather than having the pickup out the front. It sits under the machine and sort of, it brings it back forwards, if that makes any sense. Look, we've got a little graphic here. So it uh, works like that. It's quite unusual, but uh, apparently good design, good design. Certainly get a bit of grass in there. So finally we're at Kubota. Probably got one of the biggest stands here, I should think. 
and they bought quite a bit of kit. And you know, again, like with a lot of stuff like McCormick's, Landini's, um, I like the look of these new Kubotas, they look serious bits of kit. Um, Henry, Henry Gooch, Henry's Farming Photography is the YouTube channel. You know, Henry, you've met him, you've well, you've seen his videos. He's got one of the smaller versions of these and he's uh, getting on really well with it go and check out his channel have a look um but i mean that looks a proper bit of kit doesn't it, it does look a proper bit of kit uh, i hear the backup on these is absolutely excellent look at that that's something you don't see very often these days a nice set of offside steps of course they come with their own implement set now is it cavernland it is cavernland i'm sure it is um this one being a set of triple mowers. Um, obviously, a uh, nice little round baler there. Let's have a look at this. Yeah. Net wrap at the front, nice and easy to see. Yeah, nice simple little baler, I don't think it's open though. No. But it looks just to be a nice, simple, plain round baler. So we've got a nice M7173 here, KVT. Sally is testing it out. What do you think? I quite like this one. This it's nice, is isn't it? Definitely a lottery win buy. Definitely a lottery win buy. <laughs> Down to the shops and back. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, no, nice tractor, nice tractor. <laughs> Sally's giving it a uh, seal of approval. But yeah, you've only got to look at them just to see the, you know, the detail in it, like. And, um, you know, they're not just thrown together, there's, there's a bit of quality there, definitely a bit of quality. So this M7173 is a four-cylinder, 6.1 litre diesel, obviously a diesel. Um, 170 horsepower, 20 horsepower boost, nice decent steps to clamber up the cab. And again, like all modern machines, it's a nice place to sit. Nice airy cab, plenty of glass, good view out the back. Look at your armrest. What's, you know, there's nothing wrong with that armrest at all. Let's pull that door shut a minute. What's not to like about that? Nice little joystick there. You've got some electrolyzer or spools there. Oh no, they're PTO's engagement. That is front and rear PTO's. Got two spools there. You've got your cruise controls, uh, um, your preset revs there. Hand throttle. Your main joystick lever for yeah uh, is that uh, yeah that's because this is a, uh, a variable transmission CVT so that's yeah go quicker go slower forward and reverse your linkage up down um, engine or cruise set speed and some spools and transmission lock so it's, it's all there I mean it's all there it's a nice comfy seat like I say nice and airy nice little buddy seat there. Uh, nice little control uh, information centre dash at the front. What's not to you know? What's not to like? It's all there. I see. I mean, it's a lovely, comfy seat. Really is. Um, yeah, it's not hard to see why these Kubotas are becoming more and more popular. Right. So I just got in the truck. That's Lamat 2022 done for me. Um, yeah, it was a good show. Good show. Um, obviously, none of the big names were there. Um, but it was good to see, you know, Kubota was, was there, and it was good to see. Um, you know, Chandler's was representing Massey Fergin again, that was nice to see that 305. And um, good to see all the others, and okay, uh, good to see all of you lot that um, come and said hello and, you know, did selfies and that sort of thing. That's, that's half the reason we go to these shows, is that, um, you know, we can meet you all. So, that was good, and that was really nice. Uh, I met, you know, I don't know, God knows how many of you. <laughs> loads and loads and loads. Um, so that was good. Um, yeah, good few highlights. Um, like I say that Massey 305, that was a you know, that's an impressive bit of kit. Um, that county forward control, what a special bit of kit that is. Um, and um, yeah, looked at a couple of weight blocks that uh, were you know pretty impressive. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little video, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Ta ta.